Good morning. For today's video, we are going to discuss least common denominator or LCD. Least common denominator is used to change dissimilar fractions to similar. 3 6, 8 tenths, and 6 ninths are dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar or unlike fractions are fractions with different denominators. For example, one half, eight tenths, and six ninths. One half has a denominator of two. Eight tenths has a denominator of ten. And six ninths has a denominator of nine. These fractions have different denominators, so they are dissimilar or unlike fractions. On the other hand, similar or like fractions. Similar or like fractions are fractions with the same denominators. For example, we have 6 tenths, 8 tenths, and 2 tenths. These fractions have the same denominator, and that is 10. What are the methods in finding the LCD or the least common denominator? First, we have the listing method. Second, we have the prime factorization method. And third, we have the continuous division method. First, listing method. Listing method, multiples of each denominators are listed down. The smallest common multiple is considered as the LCD or the least common denominator. So what is multiple? Multiple is a number that can be divided by another number without a remainder. For example, what are the multiples of 5? So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and so on. The listing method. For example, we have three fourths and one third. These two fractions are dissimilar. So we need to find their LCD. Step number one identify the denominator. In three fourths, the denominator is four, and in one third, the denominator is three. Step number two, find the multiples of its denominator. So let's start with four. The multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. How about three? The multiples of three are three, six, 
9, 12, and so on. Step number 3. Identify the smallest common multiples of 4 and 3. In this case, the LCM or the least common multiples for 4 and 3 is 12. In short, the LCD for uh, 4 and 3 is 12. Second method, we can use prime factorization method. For example, we have 2 8 and 4 6. 2 8 and 4 6 are both dissimilar fractions because their denominators are not the same. Step number one. Identify the denominator. So in 2 eighths, the denominator is 8. In 4 sixths, the denominator is 6. Step number 2. Find the prime factors of each denominator. Remember, to find the prime factors, we can use the factor tree method. For factor tree method, we need to know what are the prime numbers. So I listed down some of the prime numbers. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. So let's find the prime factors for 8 and 6 using the factor 3 method. What two numbers are we going to multiply that will give us a product of 8? So that is 2 and 4. 2 times 4 will give us 8. 2 is in red color because 2 is already a prime number. Now, 4. What two numbers do I need to multiply that will give us a product of 4? Remember, we need to use prime numbers. So that is 2 times 2. So it means that 2 and 2 are all both prime numbers. So in this case, the prime factors for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Now, how about 6? What two numbers do I need to multiply? That will give me a product of 6. Remember, we need to consider the prime numbers. So in this case, we can get 6 by multiplying 2 times 3. And 2 and 3 belongs to prime numbers. So the prime factors for 6 is 2 times 3. Three. Let's go back. So the prime factors for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And the prime factors for 6 is 2 times 3. Step number 3. Multiply all the factors you brought down to get the LCD. Note, number in red color is the GCF or the greatest common factor of 8 and 6. So for the first column, we bring down 2. 
for the second column, we bring down another 2. For the third column, we bring down another 2. And for the fourth column, we bring down 3. Now, let's multiply. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 will give us an LCD of 24. And the GCF is 2. Next method, we have the continuous division method. For example, we have 3 fourths and 2 eighths. Step number one. Identify the denominator. 3 fourths and 2 eighths are example of the similar fractions. Again, because their denominators are not the same. So for 3 fourths, the denominator is 4. For 2 eighths, the denominator is 8. Step number 2. Write the denominators inside the division house then multiply by the common prime factor. So we have 4 and 8. 4 and 8 can be divided at the same time by 2. So 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. So 2 and 4 can also be divided at the same time by a prime factor of 2. So 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. And 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. So 1 and 2 has no same factors or prime factors that can be divided 2. Step number 3. If the dividends have no more common prime factors like 1 and 2, we can now multiply the dividends left by the divisors. So what is the dividend and what is the divisor? In this case, Note, number in red color is the GCF or the greatest common factor of 4 and 8. Let's go back. The dividend and the divisor in this case is the number 2 that is in red color are also the divisor. While 4, 8, 2, 4, 1, and 2 are the dividends. Two times two times two will give us a greatest common factor of four and an LCD of eight. Always remember this common denominator or LCD is used to change the similar fractions to similar fractions. The similar or alike fractions are fractions with different denominators. Similar or like fractions are fractions with the same denominator. Multiple is a number that can be divided by another number without a remainder. The methods that we can use to find the LCD are first, 
the listing method. Second, the prime factorization method. And third, the continuous division method. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you will be uh, you will be notified for the new videos to be uploaded. Bye.